while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. God says in our community, sin abound. Meaning we walk around without our fringes, we shave our beards, our hairs, we lay from woman to woman, making whores out of our daughters. Like they had the Bob Billiken Parade, they had the Puerto Rican Parade. The Puerto Ricans are our people. We go to these parades and we see, babe, I got two daughters, bruh. A, a five-year-old and a three-year-old, daughters this high. They have babies this high twerking in shorts and skirts, bruh. Am I lying? They had our babies this tall walking down the street basically advertising them. So then when one of these weirdos come and kidnap our babies, now we want to get in the streets crying. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. But you you were just prostituting our daughters in the street. Make sure you check the information out on that flyer, bro. Very, very important. Okay, back. come right back, bro. And it's for you too, my sisters. Y'all should stop in here. Hey, my sister, we got black men out here trying to change the community. What y'all think about it? Nothing from the black woman, our support, our help, nothing. Damn. That's prophesied in the Bible to happen. Read. Because everybody like to say the black man ain't this. The black man ain't this. We just criminals, game bangers, thugs, no good niggas. You probably heard that before, right? But then when you got black men that actually come out here to save our communities, we get no support from our own people. My brother, you got two minutes for your brothers? I got a cousin that look like you. Come around here, build with your brother for two minutes. Bet. Read. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the iniquity is going into is hatred. Because hatred for us is at an all-time high. You born and raised in Chicago, you probably have seen a lot of death. Probably have seen a lot of hatred between us. I'm talking about back in the 70s. Right. So you got to live your life or every day with this on your mind. Right. And nowadays we got babies that's five months old catching headshots, bro. Yeah, I back then they had some type of order and structure. Now it's just a free for every man for themselves. Why? Because iniquity is ruling in our community. It's the hatred for each other, bro. We hate each other too much. You see another black man that look like you, and the first thing that comes to your mind is this an op. This an op. He look at me the wrong way, I kill him right now. I take him away from his mother and his father right now. Let the nigga step on my shoe and watch what happens. But then when the white man show up on these corners, we scatter like roaches. Let the white man show up in his paddy wagon, we gonna beat the block. Pew! But then when the brother come out here and say, hey, we gotta change the community. Our babies is dying. Our brothers is being incarcerated. Just think about how many unnecessary deaths that happen in our community. How many lawyers and doctors that we could have had. We could have been out of slavery by now. But when we get when we get people that's getting built up and bringing us to, out of that oppression, guess what happened? We kill them. You see a brother that's trying to do something right in this community, what you do? You hate. You envy him. You jealous of him. So give me Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. So let me show you what happens when you see that man that comes up in the community. When you got that one that's about to make it. Back in your day, when you saw the little shorty that was hooping, the community protected him. You can't hustle over here. You got to move around, little bro. Nowadays, we see young brothers with talents. Hey, here, you a shooter in the gym? I'm going to put you a shooter on the block. You stay with me, because if you get jammed up, you going home. Or you going to St. Charles the Juvenile. But if I get caught with the gun, they shipping me up the road. So, shorty, come here. Damn, this this a whole, this, just think of how smart this young man is. This a whole genius, and you finna turn him into a murderer. You finna destroy his whole life. But then you turn around and say, but I love you, little bro. This is real love. Here, take this, these little 30s, these little pills with the fit and all in them, and go kill yourself. Go kill yourself. Bring it out. My sisters, can we get some support? Two minutes of your time for your brothers? Nah. The hatred amongst us at an all-time high. That's right. Read. Bring Mr. Book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 10. Uh -huh. My son, if sinners entice thee. So the problem that we have now is that we get enticed by the wrong people. We got the older men enticing us to be killers, and we got the older women enticing us to be young, enticing our daughters to be young thoughts. Now we literally prostitute. We don't need the white man to destroy our community. We do it to ourselves. Right. Go ask the police officer. Hey, hey, excuse me, sir. A police officer across the street, my man. Do you, when you see crime, is it done by blacks or is it whites? The crime that happens in our community, are we doing it to each other or the other nations? We do it to each other, right? That's right. It, we do it to each other. We don't need the white man to do it to us. 
When I'm walking down the street, it ain't the white man I'm worried about snatching my pockets. It's the man that look like me. Read. Consent thou not. So the Bible says when sinners entice thee, like these young brothers right here. How old is you, bro? You 16. How old is you? 18 years old. Y'all ever had somebody try to pass y'all a blunt before? Pass your, keep it a buck. Pass your bottle, pass your blunt. Let me ask you a question. Was it a white man that did it? It was somebody that looked like you, right? You see what I mean? But then we'll turn around and say, I love you, little bro. You finna put little bro in the same cycle that got us destroyed. It's the same retarded cycle, excuse me, the same simple cycle we keep falling. Grow up, become a game banger, you catch a body, you smoke, get high to take the pain away, and then you go to jail. You go in the rest of your day sitting in the cell, looking at men calf muscles, doing push-ups with niggas, playing around, playing sex games on the phone, grabbing ass with each other, and the next thing you know, you pull it, you getting pulled in the cell and getting your whole manhood took. Right. They got old heads in there snatching up. I'm telling you, I know men that's incarcerated right now. Them young men going through hell in them cells right now. They see young brothers coming in there that like y'all, 16, 7, 18, slim, think they killers and murderers. My brothers, can we get two minutes of y'all time? I got a cousin look just like you. Y'all know we family, right? Nah, that's dead. That's what I'm talking about. The hatred between us at an all-time high. We can't even spare two minutes for each other. I, what is it? Okay, bet. If y'all busy then, so do me a favor. Check out the information on the flyer then. That, that's all I can ask. My brother, appreciate you. So what we're trying to do is return that love back to the community. Because what's going on in, in, right now is we set up on a cycle. It's called the prison pipeline, where you go from school, the teachers ain't teaching us nothing, and they say, you know, we got to go hit the block to make a couple dollars. Because who want to be poor? Nobody want to struggle. Nobody want to be poor. But we don't got too many options. The only options that we got is to steal from another brother that barely got something or go kick a dough down and get sent up. Bring it out. For murder, for robbery. And then next thing you know, hold that, give me Isaiah 42, because the scripture said we get it tight. Give me Isaiah 42, verse 22. So it's a cycle, brother. Bible talks about it. What happens after you get enticed? First, the older brother comes to you like, man, little bro, hit this weed. You're going to be all right, brother. Just some grass, man. Go and get high with your brother. Nah, bro, I'm cool. I'm trying to stay on that straight path. You know, the best thing you can do today is stay out the way, bro. Ain't no love out here in our community. Don't let nobody send you off and crash you out, bro. Y'all still got a chance, bro. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. The Bible prophesied about the cycle. First, you're going to get enticed by the older brother. My sister and brother, y'all listening? My brother right here with the black cat, you listening? You from Chicago, born and raised? Hold on, brother, listen. One last, let me tell you the scripture real quick. Just one minute. Watch this read. They are all of them snare and hoes. And they are in prison houses. They are where? In snare in prison houses. Our people are getting locked in prison houses. This Bible is a history book by your forefathers. We've been getting jammed up and locked up in prison. They come right now and say, look, brown hoodie, black, you fit the description. 30 years. Now next thing you know, they get some new DNA to say, hey, he wasn't the right guy. Y'all that took 30 years away from this man just for him to turn around and be exonerated. You done took his whole childhood away. That's the cycle that they set up for y'all. We trying to show you, bro, it's another way. I'm telling you, bro, you got options. Don't believe the BS they telling you. You can believe and think you tough all day, but I'm telling you, I talk to brothers incarcerated every day. It's some young, skinny leg brothers that's coming up in them cells that they love it. They love it, like anchovy, like sardines. They loving them like snacks. They turning men into packs of noodles in there, bro. This is the reality that's going on. You say what? Tell me I'm lying. You, you know men that's in court. Tell me I'm lying, bro. You say what? You have been there. So am I lying about what I'm talking about? They see the young brother coming up in there. Young brother, 18 year old, with 40 years. 40 years, you got a nigga that been here for 30 years. What you think on his mind, bro? You come in there skinny, you are off pill. You going through withdrawals, you sick. You nodding off, you trying to get high. Then dude come in like, leave a little thing on your bed for you. Get you high. Then come in my lion, bro. You ain't lying. It's a trap. It is a trap. Uh-huh. Right. Man, like this type slave right here. Hold on, you see this right here? Like that type deal. Real talk, right. Hold on, y'all stay and listen. Go ahead, bro. So you think it's a coincidence that you're bumping into us right now, bro? 
Hey, and now you're hearing it again. Now you're hearing it again. Watch, give me Proverbs 1 and 25. So the Bible prophesied about our people being hid in prison houses. But watch what the Bible say right here. Watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 25. Uh -huh. But ye Start at verse 20, 20. Start at 20. Check this out, bro. Because what you're doing right now is you fulfilling prophecy that's written in the Bible. Read. Verse 21. She cried. Verse 20. Wisdom cries without. She utters her voice in the street. So my brother and sister right here. My brother and sister right here. Hey, the thing, get the, get the brother right here. What's your, what's your name, bro? I'm gonna address you, this is your wife, right? Nah, this is my sister. Okay, this is your sister. Well, I'm gonna address you, the man. So what we out here doing is showing you the history that this Bible is your history, but just give me a couple minutes, spare with me. But let, I wanna show, take something real quick that you fulfill the prophecy. Y'all are too, we didn't get for the top. Wisdom quiet without, where? She utters her voice in the street. Where at? In the street. So you got people that's in churches like Creflo Dollar. You got T.D. Jakes, you got Joel Osteen, Joyce Meyer. They set fair kind even. Set up in these churches and they robbing our people. Blind. How is it that the pastor showing up to the church in the Lexus and the people catching the city bus home? The people coming to the church, this sister got four kids and you gonna make it catch the city bus home, but the pastor rolling off in the Escalade. We don't see nothing wrong with that? You say what? That was the building fund. That was the building fund, facts, facts. That's your hard earned check getting sent up, read. She cried in the chief place of concourse, uh -huh. in the opening of the gates. In the opening of the gates, Rick. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, for ye love simplicity. So what God's saying, take is that he's going to send his spirit back onto the earth. You're going to find the spirit of God uh, by men on the streets keeping the laws. Brothers on the streets with their beards, with their fringes on. Not no pastors sitting in no pulpit robbing people, touching on the kids. In the Catholic Church happening to our, uh, our Hispanic brothers, and Native American brothers. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. So the Bible says, how long are we going to be simple? How long are we going to see five month old babies catching hair shots and just be like, well, it wasn't mine? Or how long are we going to see our brothers being incarcerated? Our young men being made into murderers? Right. Our young men are being groomed to be killers and take lives. They don't even get a chance to live. Their brain is being destroyed before they get a chance at life. But guess who? The older goofy that's scared to get out there. So you know what? I'm going to crash out the little homie, but I, I love you. I'm going to put a dub on your books here and there. You just threw this whole young brother life away because you were scared. Read. And fools hate knowledge. The Bible says fools hate knowledge. So we come out here and we tell the truth to our people. Hey, my brother and sister, y'all are Israelite. Y'all God's chosen people. We ain't black, we ain't African American. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. So check this out, sis. Check it out, read. Turn you at my reproof. We tell you to turn away from the lies that you're living in. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.